Uh, first, first things first, very important question. Super Bob's number in the film, whose number is that? What happens if we dial that number? Oh, that's uh, not your a real message. number, Brett, is it? Yeah, yeah you, oh, get there's, a, a, you okay. get a, there's a message. Okay. You're in a queue. <laughs> 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 uh, how big is your emergency? <laughs> Press a number. <laughs> So how much is that, uh, that that phone call number cost? We get yeah. one pound fifty every time. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's take you right back to the beginning. You guys go way way back. I mean, what, is it childhood friends or high school friends? What, yeah. what did you first meet? High school. Sure. Yeah. Like We're high school sweethearts. <laughs> uh, yeah, we. Queen. I was the homecoming queen. Uh, you were not the prom king, uh, which was embarrassing because we were together. Uh, <laughs> no, we've known each other since school, and then we went to university together, and then. And then he called me one day and said he had an idea. And uh, I came to his office and we went into a little dark room and we made a short version of this. Mm. And then four and a half years later, <laughs> <laughs> this happened. Like that, yeah. So the, the short's actually uh, available on YouTube if you want to watch it. Uh, John, do you want to yeah. talk us through the, how the short came about and where the idea for um, Super Bob came from? Yeah, I, it, it started as a different project, which Brett won't let me speak about because he still wants to make that. But it started yeah. as something quite dark. And then um, I was asked to make a film about a local hero. And I thought, well, I live in Peckham. And it would sort of be funny if we had a superhero who lived in Peckham. And if he was just like a sort of awkward British bloke, uh, it would be even funnier. Um, and then we made it. And, and yeah, we just sort of improvised. and. Uh, Brett's brilliant, and he was really good in it. And then, yeah. then, and then that <laughs> happened. So that was, yeah, that's that. So from there, the idea was always to make the feature? or No, God, yeah. no. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, everybody wants to make a movie, don't they? I mean, yeah. that's sort of the dream. Um, but uh, the, feature, the, the short got in, in front of a couple of people, and they liked it. And then, um, well, then a long time, uh, <laughs> and a long story. Uh, but, you know, lots of ups and downs, and we could probably make a film out of that. And, uh, and then we're here tonight. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, and how do you go about making a superhero film on a budget that I'm guessing wouldn't pay for the Avengers catering? How Set it on his day off. <laughs> 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 nice and simple. It's the yeah. That's the secret. That's yeah. it. Clever, right? But what happens tomorrow? Enough. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, something massive. No, I, I think, uh, yeah. The day before was massive load of special effects, but on his day off, yeah. Not a lot. Went to the shops. So. <laughs> Bit of flying. Bit of flying. Bit of flying. flying no, we actually, uh, I tell you the secret is um, uh, just surround yourself with brilliant, brilliant crew, yeah. um, and uh, and then just like just beg uh, <laughs> every day. We've got our visual effects uh, expert uh, Richard Tiny Fraser in the house, so called because he's he's exactly average size. There he is. Um, <laughs> Uh, and he did an amazing job and made Bob fly. And, you know, we had a, an amazing crew. And, you know, the cinematographer Matthias is here. And, you know, like everyone was just brilliant. And I think what happened was, was that they all got on board with the script, you know, and they really liked it. And, and then they sort of just were passionate about it. And so it got made. And, and Brett, I love your superhero poses. Did you spend a lot of time perfecting those much. in the mirror? <laughs> I, I'm embarrassed to say, I believe we had a day of let's look at what would look cool <laughs> when you bend down. Uh, <laughs> just, me and, just me and John in a, in a box. Uh, him going, bend further down and jump up. Yeah, that doesn't look cool. Uh, yeah, a whole day of that. Really paid off that idea. I mean, yeah. great bending down. <laughs> <laughs> Top bending. Thank you. Empire Magazine. <laughs> um, and and, and in terms of the costumes, were you wearing the costumes? Were you wearing? Do you have a favourite? The uh, the new romantic one at the end is is very is my least favourite. Yeah, uh, <laughs> because of my penis <laughs> in it. Uh, that was, that was one of the lowest moments. <laughs> was how we were to get me in that, and the, the wonderful costume lady who who I started to call my wife because she saw more intimacies of me than any woman ever has. And she brought me a little thong, <laughs> and she and said, a like and a little cup. And I said, it's bigger than that cup. <laughs> and she, she and then two of her assistants crammed my nuts into, yeah. into that cup. Yeah. And then they said, can you talk a lot? And I said, my voice is much higher now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, was, it was sort of genuinely a problem, actually, is that yeah. um, he's a very well-endowed man. <laughs> Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. well, you needed no, but he is. And, and, uh, and actually, that, although that's lovely in your day-to-day -day life, when, when you're... 
<laughs> oh, no, don't do the elephant. <laughs> oh, no. oh, right, I thought you'd do the elephant. No, okay. Okay. Anyway. Well, he needed two assistants to cram the nuts in. I mean, it my was, God. It was an eye That's a full time job. Yeah. Uh, Super Bob is such a, a sweet character. Can you talk about that decision to go down that route? He's such a sweet, bashful guy. It's, that's all John, really. Jo John told me one, his sort of pitch for it, which I loved, was just because you're the world's greatest brain surgeon doesn't mean you're any good at parties. <laughs> and so that was it. It was like, it take the, the sort of best job you could have, which is superhero, but he's really awkward, but he's lovely and he wants to be nice, but he can't communicate with regular people and mm. girls and any sort of, I mean, a bit like this. Maybe I'm like him. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I, I kind of just like, uh, I just wanted to make like a nice film. Yeah. Like you don't see that many like nice films. Do you know what I mean? Like especially uh, of maybe of this sort of budget level and in the UK, like we're really good at like really f miserable. We're so good at it. Like there's something in us, you know, that's so good at misery. But I sort of wanted to do something a bit more fun. And that's what we did. So there was never a dark cut where Super Bob died at the end or impaled himself upon it. There was actually. Yeah. Yeah, there was. Oh, really? There were many versions. There was a version where Super Bob died at the end, which I really liked. But John was like, that's <laughs> not nice. <laughs> uh, I want to ask about the, uh, the origins of, of the, uh, the MOD uh, involvement in the movie. Because I believe you guys Impressive. actually went, is this true, to, yeah. the, so to the Ministry of Defence? Sort of, uh, the Foreign Office. Uh, I had a really weird off-the-record um, meeting. So uh, the Grain Media, the production company that I, that I sort of co-run, um, which is Academy Award nominated this year. Just want to throw that in there. Thank you very much. Uh, Varunga. We made the film Varunga. It's very good. You should watch it. It's the opposite of that. Um, <laughs> anyway, because we make documentaries, we'd done a couple of films with the Foreign Office, and so I had a contact there, and I and I said, "Can I take you for a drink? I've got some odd questions to ask you." And I and I recorded it, although I'm never allowed to release it. And I said. You know, this sort of central conceit of this film is, is what if a superhero existed in the real world and what if he was British? And I just asked this foreign office person all those questions and she said, yeah, it would be a political tool straight away. And, you know, like Iran would call us up and say, uh, oh, we've got an earthquake. Can you send Bob? And we'd go, well, what about those nuclear weapons? You know, and <laughs> like, it, that's how it would work. And, and, you know, it was a really interesting and eye opening and scary conversation. So they actually have a contingency plan, just in case. I, I don't think so. I think, I mean, maybe uh, after that meeting, she went home and went, guys, <laughs> we, uh, we better think about it. But no, I, I just think it opened up some questions, maybe. Okay. So did you incorporate that stuff into the film and all the, uh, the form filling? Yeah. <laughs> all the, uh, the bureaucratic yeah. nonsense? Like I, w I mean, I wanted that. Uh, I mean, we are beautiful collaborators, I think. But the, one of the t tiny things that we disagreed about was I wanted this enormous, and it would have been really boring, <laughs> Uh, sequence like going through the MOD and meeting all the people that have to do all the forms and um, like I, I just really like the idea of it just being a job like it's six years later and it's just a job and there are people that pay their mortgage just because they have to fill out the P whatever forms where every time he goes and you know I like that and I think that's quite British <laughs> um, how tough was this, the shoot was it three weeks something like that three weeks there was a man called Andy Gradwell is he here I don't know if he's here no He's the first AD, and without him, I think this wouldn't have happened because he's scheduled. You couldn't, you shouldn't be able to do this in three weeks. Mm. And you know the the like motor, what the car crash sequence. Yeah. Like in a normal film, you need a, a week, I reckon, and we had like three hours scheduled for that. And I said to him, Kim, "No way!" <laughs> and yet we did. And I don't know how. Three hours. I just Bloody said the hell. words. Three hours to do the Michael Bay movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it was just a really, really, really good crew, and everyone pulled together fast. I don't yeah. really know how it happened. My God, amazing! Uh, so you know, and, and uh, the short itself. Uh, at one point, Bob, spoiler alert, mentions having met Batman, mm. which yeah, we places him in the yeah, same world as other superheroes. Out. Yeah, because we wanted him to exist in a world where there were no others, because. That's why he's such a disappointment, because <laughs> because the, there's no one else to come. You know, it's like this is it, this guy, this yeah. is what we got. You <laughs> know what I mean? And also, I don't know if we would be allowed no, almost certainly not. to say Batman. <laughs> no. 
that probably would be just mentioning budget. Batman in the movie yeah. <laughs> breaks your budget. But uh, you know, I would love to see. I'm a big comic book fan. I mean, I'd love to see Bob uh, meet that the work? Avengers. I'd love ah. to see that happen. You know, that, who, we'll who else like to that happen? Yeah, Avengers yeah. versus Bob. I, I can make that happen. I'll yeah. yeah. I'll make some calls after this. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, is this a character that you can see maybe continuing? Can you see something? Maybe something well, else. I think, with Bob? I think people have to see the film. But if if people see the film. I'd love to do I, I more. I think what we should do is, you know, all the people here that liked it, not the ones that didn't like it. I was sitting next to a guy who didn't laugh once. <laughs> <laughs> he's left, though, he's left. He's left. He's long gone. He left before the credits ended. <laughs> Bloody hell. Apart from him, like, if you liked it, obviously th this and is... And it was your dad. I know. Uh, uh, My, uh, um, uh, come on. Yeah, no, I think... <laughs> oh, you might, to be fair, you might have just be going like that the whole time. Like, <laughs> sort of, like, why did you... Anyway, if you did like it, it would be great for you to spread the word about this film. It will hopefully be coming out in spring. It's very, it's very difficult th to make a film like this, um, and it's very difficult to get it seen by people as well. Um, uh, I promised this would be a positive thing, but there isn't a lot of support for films like this, and it's a, you know people are quite risk-averse in the industry, and festivals and events like Loco are so important, um, especially with the comedy, because... People don't care about comedy, uh, and you know they should because it's fun, right? <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah.